Anybody else's cats orbit? So then we'll make sure when I'm in bed to be between me and whatever I happen to be looking at, no matter what. So he knows that this annoys me. So every so often he'll move out of the way like this. Then very shortly after, he'll turn around and walk back in. I'm not directing him to do anything. This is what he does every night. Anyway, this is going to be a really short vlog because I'm really tired. Um, and I just want to go to sleep. So that's actually what this vlog is about. Sleep. Uh, I don't know of anybody that has normal sleep. Certainly not me, but mine seems to be closer to... Well, can even be called normal if, if nobody has it. Um, my sleeping patterns are fairly... Uh, there isn't really a synonym for it. There's a kitty. He's loafing up. He's going to start loafing on top of me. Um, there's a synonym for it that I can't think of right now. But um, non-disordered sleep. I'll just use that. I'm fairly close to non-disordered sleep. So I go to bed at usually normal times, um, 11 p.m. plus or minus half an hour usually, and I wake up seven and a half hours later. Uh, my circadian rhythm is almost exactly an hour and a half for cycle, so either I sleep six hours, seven and a half, or nine hours. The part that doesn't seem normal to me, so for instance, the part of the reason why I'm so tired today is that I was woken up by a backup alarm. Um, there was a construction vehicle, I think. I didn't have blinds open, so I didn't look. There was a construction vehicle on my block that decided to go turn on their... Uh, put in, put their vehicle in reverse gear and just keep it there for 15 plus minutes. That was extremely loud, and inside of my room it sounded more like an alarm clock. My partner actually didn't wake up from it at all somehow, but... Um, yeah, that hit me at the exact wrong point in my sleep cycle. It would have hit me at about six hours, 40 minutes in. So not at a six hour point, not at a seven and a half hour point, but somewhere kind of in the middle. And as a result, I am way more tired than I would have been if I had just slept six hours. Or my normal seven and a half would have been really nice. Anybody else do that? Anyway. Um, I briefly talked about this on uh, Candace's video, but Zone Kitty is the only one of my cats that actually has a special nickname beyond, like, you know, Zone Kitty, Kitty Cat. Oh, you're such a cute kitty cat. Zone Kitty is actually two cats in a cat suit. Uh, two small cats in a cat suit, I should say. So it's front half, so basically what you're seeing here. So front paws, torso, neck, head, ears. This is Kitty 1. Kitty 2 is the rear part of the kitty. It's the tail plus hind legs and butt. And the reason why I consider them having two kitties is that Zone reacts like he doesn't realize that his butt is a part of him. Uh, so his tail constantly knocks things over and he gets confused by the concept of his tail touching something. He'll actually chase his own tail as well, kind of like if he was just playing with things. And I know that he actually does feel his tail and so on, but sometimes it just makes me wonder if Zone Kitty is really two kitties. So there's Front Kitty and Rear Kitty as a result for nicknames for Zone Kitty. Um, I'd never really used Front Kitty, but Rear Kitty? Rear Kitty is the one that knocks everything over, the one that trips and falls randomly. Kind of like if the cat can't see because it's two cats in a trench coat. Anyway, this has been a silly vlog and I need sleep. I did not say good kitten internet, but have a good kitten internet, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.